Looking for magic cards? At flipsidegaming.com you can now use the promo code LVD to get a 10% discount on orders over $10 while supporting the channel at the same time. Hello and welcome to another Magic Arena gameplay video. Today we're taking a look at a red-white Fires of Invention deck called Angel Fire as we're also playing with Divine Visitation an enchantment saying if one or more creature tokens would be created under your control that many 4-4 white angel creature tokens with flying and vigilance are created instead. And we're playing this in a Fires of Invention deck. Fires of Invention of course a powerful enchantment letting us cast up to two spells for free based on the number of lands we control and uh, freeing up our mana with Fires of Invention means we can now maybe use a Castle Ardenvale to make tokens. Four mana and tapping Castle produces a 1-1 one, one white human creature token, but if we have a Divine Visitation in play, instead of making a 1-1, one, one, we're making a 4-4 four, four Angel instead, and all these cards also curve perfectly into each other. We can go turn 4, Fires of Invention, play something else for free, and then turn 5, play a free Divine Visitation, maybe play another spell for free, and then activate Castle Ardenvale for a total of 5 mana to make our first Angel of many Angels, hopefully. So a very powerful combination. And then looking at the rest of the deck, of course we've got all of the usual suspects that you might see in other Fires of Invention decks, like the Cavalier Flame. But let's go over the entire list. At 2 mana we also have 2 copies of Dawn of Hope, another great mana sink alongside Fires of Invention, because for 4 mana we get to make a 1-1 soldier token with a lifelink, and whenever we gain life we can also pay 2 mana to draw a card. So just having Dawn of Hope alongside Fires of Invention is quite good. But of course if we also have Divine Visitation, now for 4 mana, instead of making a 1-1 lifelinker we're making a 4-4 angel, which is quite the upgrade, and it's also cheaper to make tokens with Dawn of Hope than it is with Castle Ardenvale, so we save up on uh, 1 mana as well. Then we also have some more card filtering with Thrill of Possibility. As an additional cost we have to discard a card in order to draw two. Since we are kind of this uh, combo control deck that needs to find right pieces at the right time, drawing multiple copies of Fires of Invention is unnecessary so we can discard additional copies in the late game to find more action. So all these various looting effects are quite good in the deck. And then we also have the full playset of Bonecrusher Giant, often using the Adventure Stomp first, dealing 2 damage to any target and afterwards giving us a 4-3 Giant that can maybe trade off and buy us more time to set up more powerful synergies. Then at 3 mana we've got the full playset of Prison Realm, as our removal spell of choice can exile opposing creatures and planeswalkers, since otherwise our deck can struggle to deal with planeswalkers. And we also get to Scry 1, which is a nice bonus when we're trying to assemble all these different synergies. And then we also have the full playset of Honor the God Pharaoh. We're playing 4 copies of Honor versus just 2 copies of Thrill Possibility because of the strong synergy that Honor has with Divine Visitation. Because besides drawing 2 cards we also get to amass 1, meaning we get to make a 1-1 zombie army token. But with Divine Visitation that turns into a 4-4 angel instead. Then we've got some additional interaction with Deafening Clarion dealing 3 damage to everything. And can also give our creatures lifelink which is especially powerful in the late game once we have a couple angels or cavalier flames. Then at 4 mana of course we've got our playset of Fires of Invention, a card we really want to have at the start of the game, and then later we can discard additional copies to our various uh, discard outlets. We've got an additional sweeper in the form of Solar Blaze, dealing damage to each creature based on its power. So sometimes that lines up better than Deafening Clarion if we're facing Questing Beasts or Rotting Regisaurs, where the 3 damage from Clarion is not enough. And then we also have the full playset of Outlaws Merriment, which is also great in this deck. As a 4 mana card we can play in the same turn as Fires of Invention. And then at the beginning of our upkeep we get to make a random token, and it's either going to be a 3-1 Trample Haste, a 2-1 Lifelink Haste, or a 1-2 with Haste that deals 1 damage to any target when it enters the battlefield. But of course if we also have a Divine Visitation in play, those will turn into 4-4 Angels instead. Sadly the Angel doesn't have Haste anymore, since Haste is part of the attributes of the token itself as you can see on the right hand side. So that's a bit of a nombo that it loses haste, but still getting to make an additional 4-4 angel every turn is uh, quite strong. And then at 5 mana we've got the full playset of Cavalier of Flame. We all know the synergy by now between Cavalier and Fires of Invention. We can play Cavalier for free, have all our mana available to sink into the ability, giving creatures we control plus 1 plus 0 and haste until end of turn. And when Cavalier of Flame enters the battlefield we can discard any number of cards and then draw that many cards, which is great, since we often have additional copies of Fires of Invention or extra lands that we don't need, that we don't mind discarding, to find us more action. 
and when a cavalier dies it also deals damage to the opponent and each planeswalker they control based on the number of lands in our graveyard. So if we've played multiple cavaliers or multiple of these uh, Honor the God Pharaohs we might end up with quite a few lands in the graveyard so the cavalier can deal a bit of damage when it dies as well which is a nice bonus. And then of course our two copies of Divine Visitation. Despite being one of the centerpieces of the deck we're only playing two copies since we don't often want to draw more than one and in some matchups it's a little bit slow to get going so we're just playing uh, two for now. And then the mana base, of course we need the full playset of Castle Ardenvale to synergize with our Divine Visitation. A bit of a stretch when we also need triple red for Cavalier of Flame, but with uh, 18 red sources total and then 16 white sources to help with the double white on Outlaw's Merriment, we should still be okay. The only drawback is that sometimes Castle Ardenvale can come into play tapped since we don't have uh, all that many planes, just four basic planes and four Sacred Foundry, which also counts as a planes for Castle Ardenvale coming into play untapped. Then we also have two copies of Castle Ambreth, which is great if we're just making a bunch of tokens with the Merriment and the Honor the God Pharaoh to give everyone plus one plus so. Can also make the difference. And then eight basic mountains, four sacred foundries and four Temple of Triumph, which also lets us scry one, which is great when we're trying to set up in the early game and find our fires of invention and various combo pieces. So yeah, that's our deck. Now let's jump in some games and see how the deck does. All right, we're on the draw, and yeah, the sand seems okay. We've got our Fires of Invention, we've got some card selection. So, it looks like we're up against Monorad, so finding one of our sweepers is going to be important. Solar Blaze could be too slow. Definitely prefer Deafening Clarion in this matchup, for the most part. But at least we'll have a reset button to wipe the board. Solar Blaze doesn't uh, deal with something like uh, Chandra's Spitfire. So that's also a big drawback. And we also need to hit our land drops, so I might just cast a Thrill here to maybe find some interaction and to make sure we keep hitting our land drops. Take three for now. And our opponent's not going to commit anything else to the board, maybe he has a burn spell in hand. So what do we discard to the Thrill? Might just be Cavalier, since I might need to honor next turn to keep digging. And then Fires of Invention into one of our four drops is going to be the play. Probably have to Solar Blaze first and then the Merriment can maybe gain life if we make the 2-1 lifelink haste. Which seems important against the burn deck. So yeah, as strange as it may be, I think we get rid of the Cavalier. Alright, another Fires we can discard. So Honor makes a Chum Blocker and we can discard the Fires. And then next turn we get to go fires into probably Solar Blaze. And yeah, there's our Divine Visitation, so turn 5 we can start making Angels. Token's gonna get shocked. Alright, so hopefully we don't take too much damage here. Might be another Burn Spell, Bone Crusher Giants. Alright, if there are plays just to play Bone Crusher here. That's okay, but we're still taking uh, 6 damage at the very least. Down to 7. Alright, time to go fires into Solar Blaze. And then next turn we'll have to decide what to do next. Can play Merriment and Visitation and still make an Angel. The downside of Visitation with Merriment is that we won't be able to gain life, but we might just be able to kill them before they find more burn spells. So I think that's the plan. And then we can make an Angel at instant speed to block the Rimrock Knights. And wow, opponent just explodes. Alright, well, they could have maybe top decked some burn spells to get out of it, but uh, yeah, we were gonna get to make at least two Angels per turn, one from Visitation and the Castle, and one from the Merriment, and then we could still cast spells for free. So we were definitely looking good, but at 7 life you can never feel too safe against a red deck. Alright, on to the next one. 
All right, we're on the play, and this hand's missing a Fires of Invention, but we can't always have it in our opening hand. Yeah, this hand's still okay. If uh, Solar Blaze is not good in the matchup, we can get rid of it with Honor, and then we're just going to play a fair game of turn 4 Merriment, turn 5 Cavalier, hopefully. Facing a Temple of Epiphany, so it could be the Jeskai Fires of Invention deck. In which case, Solar Blaze is okay, deals with opposing Cavaliers. So the question is, do we keep it? Do we discard it? Maybe get rid of Dawn of Hope, since we don't have the Fires of Invention to go with it, and otherwise it's a bit expensive. Yeah, I guess we'll get rid of that instead. I guess it could also be on Blue-Red Flash, in which case they might just counter the Honor. But Solar Blaze is still okay, deals with the Cutthroat, uh, Bone Crusher Giants. Alright, no response. So probably means they're just Jeskai Fires and not Blue-Red Flash. And we did find the Fires of Invention, which is great. Alright, I guess maybe they just didn't have a response, but they are Blue-Red Flash. Since this is not the typical play pattern of Jeskai, but... Maybe they're just missing white mana. Yeah, we'll just hit for one. And hope this fires resolves. It does. Play Merriment. Alright, so I guess they are just guy missing white. Drawn from Dreams. Fair enough. Maybe it's just something completely different. Drawn from Dreams is pretty good alongside Fires of Invention. But that's a lot of islands, which is unusual. Alright, another Cavalier, so let's try and find a land here. And at this point, Solar Blaze can go. Perfect. So land, Cavalier. And we'll get rid of... Maybe just Prison Realm. And we'll activate. Bones at three. And they explode. How many lands did we have in the graveyard? I don't think we had any, but yeah, at this point our points was pretty far behind, so I'm not exactly sure what they were playing. Could have been just guy missing white, and therefore they didn't do much. They didn't have any counter spells, so it didn't seem like a blue-red flash. So who knows, it's a mystery, but I guess uh, we still had a pretty good draw here. On to the next one. Alright, we're on the draw, and yeah, there's a downside to playing castles. If you draw multiples and don't have the basic lands to go with it, they come into play tapped. So I don't know if I can keep this. I mean, fires is great to have, and we've got the merriments, but... Uh, our mana base is pretty slow, and we're on the draw. Of course, if we draw any land that comes into play untapped, I can save that one for turn 4. If we find a looting effect, I can discard fires. So it's not the worst. But we don't have any interaction before turn 4, which I don't know if we can keep. Let's take a mulligan and be disciplined. Yeah, we'll keep this. Do I get rid of visitation? Makes me a little bit sad, but it might be the play. Alright. So this game we're just gonna be Bone Crusher Giant Beatdown. Narsets. Uh sure. I think I'm probably gonna stomp Narsets instead of uh anything else. As always, want to wait as long as possible to give them less information to work with when making the decision on which card to keep with Narset. It's a fairy. So some sort of uh, Planeswalker heavy control deck. Probably play Giants from Adventure here. Can definitely expect to face a 5-mana Sweeper, so... 
Alright, it's gonna be a prison realm instead. That's fine. We might have to stomp Narset again just to unlock our various card draw effects, otherwise uh, we can only draw one card per turn. So... Yeah, I might just do that now. I guess we'll take a look first at what's on top with the temple. Cavalier isn't bad, but I do need land 5 and uh, against the control deck they might have counter spells. I don't know how reliable we can resolve Cavalier. So probably still bottom it here. And then we'll just stomp Narsets. I guess I can wait. They might play Teferi and then that's gonna force the issue, but if they play a second Narset, it would be bad to just stomp right now. Ooh, it's gonna be a Kenrith. I guess I can just uh, stomp plus Clarion to get rid of Kenrith. It's probably fine. Alright, so a third giant used up here. There's the ferry. So I guess we want to thrill discarding honor, play giants. And I'm probably going to discard the sacred foundry, so we'll play the castle. Opponent does seem like maybe a just guy fires of invention deck after all with the uh, Narset. So they're probably also playing Sarkon, or they're just just guy control without fires of invention. But Kenrith kind of points towards a uh, fires build. So what do we do now? I guess we honor discarding lands and just play the giants. If we play fires we can't giant anymore, so probably just play giants. The fairy bounce prison realm. And I guess they have maybe a 5 mana sweeper or a clarion. Alright, there's the fires. And is there a clarion too? Time wipe. Alright. So we'll need to rebuild. There's Sarkon. So I've got the Prison Realm for Sarkon. Behold! And Solar Blaze can deal with the dragon. Don't worry, I got this. But then I guess the fairy bounces the Prison Realm again. So we don't really make a ton of progress. I guess what we can do is Prison Realm the token and an honor making this into a 2 2 to kill Sarkon. It's probably the play. I guess I should honor first in case we drew something that changes our play. But this way we just cry before we draw to improve our draw step. Alright, so this kills Sarkon. And then end of turn we can make a token with Castle. Probably keep this one in hand in case we need to discard it to something. The fairy bounces a token. Back up the fairy. I know my responsibility. But at least now we don't have anything too valuable underneath the prison realm, so 
the Teferi bounce is less devastating. Alright, Castle Ventress means they get to scry to improve their draw steps. So yeah, the game's still undecided. But I would put the advantage towards my opponent at this point. Although that's a very good one. So I get to go fires. Um, I guess we're a couple mana short of activating castle as well. But that's okay. At least Prison Realm doesn't interact with our enchantments. So I don't think they have an easy way of getting rid of my enchantments here. And probably still keep castle in hand. We're not particularly close to using double castle in the same turn. Got a prison realm for another Sarkon that they might have. So we'll see. They did not put a stop on upkeep. Sometimes you want to put a stop on upkeep to scry with the castle if you bottomed both with uh, end of turn activation. So maybe they forgot they're going to scry now. Bottom, bottom still. Alright, another Teferi, so that can bounce Visitation or Fires of Invention, but we can just replay it for free if they bounce Visitation, so it's not too bad. So they were maybe better off just bouncing the Fires of Invention at that point. Token kills Teferi, I guess now I'll play out my castle. In case we do get to double activation territory. And we can start making angels. Opponent probably has a bunch more removal in hand, couple sweepers. So don't expect the first couple angels to survive. But uh, in a long game we can eventually uh, get there maybe. They could still have instant speed removal end of turn. Fires of Invention just says that you can only cast spells during your own turn. It doesn't say it has to be sorcery speed, so just a strike takes out our angel, that's fine. Merriment is a great pickup. Hit for one, and then... Yeah, not quite sure what to do with this land. I think we just hold it in case we find more... Discard effects, Cavaliers, we've got our Thrills, we've got our Honors. So lots of ways that we can still convert this land into something useful. Drawn from Dreams, alright. Point's gonna go Digging. But yeah, we're making two Angels per turn. Don't know if they play any main deck enchantment removal. Alright, I guess that answers that question. Fae of Wishes can get a card out of the sideboard and destroy our enchantments. Wasn't sure if they were playing Fae of Wishes. But uh, I guess they are. Yeah, I'll still keep the lands in case of a Cavalier. So if we expect our opponent to play Casualties and then follow it up with uh, another Time Wipe, for example, I could make an Angel, but if they're going to wipe the board, I might be better off just making a 1-1 end of turn instead. If we drew a Cavalier last turn, we definitely could have killed them. So that's definitely one of our better draws at this point. With all the tokens we're making between the Merriments and the Castle Ardenville, even if the Visitation goes away. So yeah, I can make an Angel now. 
That's probably still better than making a 1-1 one -one token, and that kind of forces them to play a sweeper. Yeah, another Fay of Wishes. What are we getting this time? Planar Cleansing. Alright, so they do have the reset button, sadly. Not what we wanted to see, so we've got one turn to top deck Cavalier to end the game. Fires of Invention, not quite, but I guess we'll have a backup once the board is wiped here. Alright, well... Let's do some damage before our creatures die. Castle Embereth would have also done it here for additional damage. We'll pass. Opponent will also lose their Fires of Invention, but that might even open up more mana for them. And they have a backup Fires anyway. That does take up their entire turn, since they've cast two spells. It does check retroactively. Alright, so... Cavalier will still do it here. If we can top deck it... I think we still hold lands. Hit for one. At this point, do I even want to play the Fires of Invention, or do I just keep making tokens, which might be better? Yeah, I don't know if the Fires does much anymore for me. Stomp from the uh, Bone Crusher Giants could also be lethal. But if they play Planeswalker, they'll go back up to 3, thanks to the beacon. Definitely a back and forth game here. Alright, third fail of wishes. What does this one get? A Liliana Dreadhorde General, not bad. Do have a Prison Realm to get rid of it. Let us march into battle and make new comrades. <laughs> Rise and shine. Cavalier would still be lethal. Thrill instead. Reason to play lands out was if I drew one of these cantripping effects and then found Cavalier, since now if I play this and find Cavalier I don't have the mana to give everything haste. But, um... Still played here. Alright, another Merriment. I think we probably still prioritize getting rid of Liliana. Could have also exiled the zombie, put my point to one. Don't know if that's worth it. Yeah, I guess I'll play the castle. If we draw Cavalier, the game ends anyway. And I might need the extra mana now. If we want to activate castle and play other stuff in the same turn. Maybe should have been playing a couple extra lands out in the meantime. Double top, that's bad news. Another Teferi can bounce the Prison Realm to get Liliana back. Last turn we also had the option of uh, casting Prison Realm before the Thrill or after. Do we want to scry before we... Draw two or afterwards. 
Given that we couldn't play and activate Cavalier, maybe Scrang afterwards to dig for Cavalier a bit deeper was better. But it's a close decision there too. So time wipe to get rid of our tokens. And more Castle Ventress activations. I mean, they've drawn three out of uh, their fave wishes. I guess they're looking for Sarkon now to end the game. I think we're still replaying a Prison Realm here and then Based on the information from the scry, we'll decide what to do next. Another Merriment. I mean, if we just keep playing Merriment, that's pretty decent, I guess. So we'll keep that, play Merriment, and then... Next turn I can play Merriment and activate Castle Ardenvale if I play land too. Or I could decide to also play the Fires of Invention. So we can maybe start double activating Castle Ardenvale. This might be a bad idea. Narset finds Clarion, can maybe gain them some life. But yeah, the Fae of Wishes could get another powerful sideboard card to help them take over. So can't feel too comfortable about our position. Maybe I should have been digging more aggressively for Cavalier to win the game instead of being content with the Merriment. I don't know if they'll have another Planar Cleansing, but they could go for like Plain White Celebration, get back a bunch of stuff, gain a bunch of life. And uh, take over the game that way. Maybe like a mass manipulation stealing my creatures. Not sure what else they would get with fail wishes. Some sort of finale maybe. That being said, what's the play? Probably still just play fires. Play merriments and then activate castle. There's Sarkon. Okay. Play Sarkon. I mean, Sarkon's pretty good here, but I'm glad they're not doing something more broken with the uh, fail wishes. So drawing Cavalier could still win the game here. They will play another fail wishes. Come on, Cavalier. Bone Crusher Giants. So I don't think we have a lethal like Imprisonment on the Dragon, attack with everyone. But uh, Fail Wishes are pretty good blockers, so we end up a couple points short. I can Bone Crusher Giant to kill Sarkon, that's okay. And then do I still Prism on the Dragon? Might still be fine. So Sarkon down. Yeah, I guess I'll Prism on the Dragon here since that way if they do bounce the uh, Prison Realm, they don't get anything back. And a Scry 1 to find Cavalier seems pretty important. I guess I'll probably Clarion now to wipe the board, so maybe I should still attack just to get in those couple of points.
but maybe forcing them to play Clarion is still fine. I get to make a token. Cavalier to give hastes. So we probably still get there. So I don't think I uh, attack. They could use Teferi to bounce my Prison Realm, get back Liliana. They could also bounce their own Fires of Invention to unlock additional mana. Definitely a lot of things they could do with Teferi. Alright, they will Clarion to wipe the board. Fair Wishes have lifelink. And they will just plus with Teferi. Alright. So they've got one more play for the turn. I'm a little bit amazed that uh, we're not dead yet, since it feels like if they just use Fae of Wishes to get another powerful sideboard card, they could end the game. But maybe they're out of good sideboard options, which is possible. Right, another Sarkon. That's actually pretty annoying, since now my 1-1 one -one tokens... Uh, can't deal any damage even if we do find Cavaliers, so... Your end has arrived. I think that means uh, we no longer have a lethal Cavalier top deck. Unless we find two Merriman tokens that deal one damage to kill Sarkon. Alright, it's one of them. Don't know if we'll get a second one. Strike like you mean it! Alright, more Merriments instead. So yeah, attacking with one toughness creatures doesn't accomplish anything given Sarkon. But I guess we'll play more Merriments out. But am I just dead now? I guess we're just dead to Sarkon turning Planeswalkers into dragons and hitting me for 16 in the air. Don't have any life linkers in play. Yeah, I think we're just dead. Would Cavalier have done it? Play Cavalier for free. A 1-2 survives the 1 damage, so they can block Cavalier. How many times could I pump? I guess not enough to kill them. That's unfortunate. If I had held the Prison Realm, instead of using it on the Dragon last turn, then I could get rid of a second, or uh, I guess this is like the third Sarkon, so that uh, the 1 toughness creatures could still survive the 1 damage from Sarkon, but then it would have also gained 4 last turn with a Clarion attack. But at 13, we probably still kill them. I don't know, close game. GG's, I guess we'll make him do it here. They might not go for it for some reason. So no good attacks. Play this. And then I expect my opponent to just uh, turn their planeswalkers into dragons. And kill us. Yeah, just needed to find a Cavalier of Flame at some point. We bottomed one at the start, but never drew another one. So we do have a three left in close to 20 cards. Deafening Clarion for lifelink too. Not that it's necessary. GG's. All right, we're on the play. This hand's uh, missing reds, but we do need only a single red to cast all our spells. Yeah, it seems a bit slow. This is more balanced. And then probably bottom visitation. I don't know, it's kind of close. 
I don't have a token making land, otherwise Visitation would probably be okay. Don't have a Fire Zone Invention, so both Cavalier and Visitation are a bit clunky. But I also only have single reds, so I would need to draw two more red sources for Cavalier. Yeah, we'll probably still keep Cavalier. Bottom Solar Blaze would rather draw some lands or some Fires of Invention. Stomping Ground on tap, Belt Collector, we can stomp. And there's Fires, perfect. I guess we'll kill it now in case they have some random pump spell. And I'm probably going to end up stomping it anyway. Alright, no turn to play for my opponents. So this is a tough uh, choice. I think we need to honor to try and hit our land drops. And then try and make this cavalier work. But that means discarding Prison Realm, which is pretty good in the matchup. Could also just play Bone Crusher Giants. But I would much rather give myself the chance of going turn 4 fires, turn 5 cavalier. Alright, turn 4 fires is happening, and we picked up another Prison Realm. Token gets stomped, so they must have drawn Giant for the turn then. And Innkeeper, I don't mind Prison Realming. Alright, so... Pretty decent turn sequence. Next turn I get to... Bone Crusher Giants, Cavalier, give everything haste. Zero points on Gruel Adventures. Paradise Druid for the turn. And another Innkeeper. Ooh, wow, they had triple Innkeeper. That's a lot of card draw. I guess we can double Cavalier now. It's probably okay. Only get to pump twice, but that's fine. Opponents at two. So if we find another Bone Crusher Giant, we can just stomp them out. And yeah, point explodes, so well we recovered pretty well from our mulligan. Kind of had uh, the perfect sequence of interaction. Turn 4 fires, turn 5 cavalier. Sweet, on to the next one. Alright, we're on the play, and yeah, this seems good. We've got our fires, we've got our visitation. We're missing a token maker, so Castle Ardenvale would help. And at the moment all these Castle Ambrithes also come into play tapped, which isn't great. But at least we've got the early interaction with Deafening Clarion if we're up against a more aggressive deck. And if we're not, we can discard it to the Thrill possibility. Yeah, there's Castle Ardenvale. I think we keep it. Even though all my lands come into play tapped here, so... Finding an actual basic land would be nice. Facing a red aggro deck here and Fervent Champion. Well, let's... Uh, Play Castle Ardenvale and pass, and then the Clarion might be enough here to keep us alive for a while. It looks like they're red-black knights instead. So the Clarion doesn't deal with the Rotting Regisaur, but we do have a Prison Realm to get rid of it, so... Both get to draw an extra card. Sacred Foundry means Castle Ambrith could come into play untapped. So take 4 damage. And do we see Rotting Regisaur? We don't, so they're just holding back. Maybe a Black Lance Paragon that they're gonna play end of turn. Not actually sure what to discard here, since next turn I want to go Fires into Clarion. And then we want to have Visitation to go with the Castle Ardenvale. And Prison Realm in case of a Regisaur, although... 
Maybe I still discard the Prisoner Realm, since if they have a Registrar we can just deal with it by making a bunch of Angels and blocking, but of course that falls flat if they have Embercleave. So, unclear here. Possible discarding nothing and just not playing Thrillers right. But uh, maybe we can find an untapped plan that doesn't cost two life, which would be an upgrade. Alright, so I will have to shock myself, but that's fine. Fires of Invention into Clarion, and then we're probably going to see a uh, Paragon flashed in, hitting us for three again. But then next turn we can go Visitation, Honor make an Angel, and then Castle can make a second Angel. And hopefully we don't get uh, killed by an Embercleave wielding Regisaur. It's going to be a Rankle instead. Alright, down to five we go. Can easily discard Visitation. If they choose to make us discard, they make us draw instead to deal one extra point. Okay. So, don't have any more sweepers. Just go Visitation into Honor, discarding probably Castle Ardenville at this point. Might be using the Scry from Temple to improve our future draws and then get to make a second angel with the castle but an amber cleave is still pretty lethal murder strider kills my angel instead so my angel will be on blocking duty for rankle all right that worked out Wow, the shame scoop from our opponents. I guess they didn't see the 4-4 Angel coming, but uh, yeah, it's real and it's there. So could have potentially still lost to some Embercleave uh, play from my opponents, so maybe an early concession there. But we were looking good, we could make an Angel per turn at the very least. We had a Prison Realm to answer their next big play and a Thrill discarding Fires or Visitation to keep finding more action, maybe using Temple first to improve our draw step. All right, sweet, on to the next one. All right, we're on the play, and yeah, the sand seems okay. It's definitely missing a Fires of Invention would make the sand a lot better. But we've got Dawn of Hope plus Visitation to uh, make some Angels, and then Honor the God Pharaoh to find whatever we need. A bit light on interaction, so that's maybe what we'll be looking for with Honor. Alright, double Sphinx of Foresight revealed, so their opponents on presumably the Jeskai Fires of Invention deck. Don't know if I can say no to Castle Ardenvale, which is an extra land and a pretty good one at that. Sphinx of Foresight, of course, pretty useful at uh, helping them find the... Fires of Invention. I guess they only had one in hand, but it's a visual bug showing two of them. Happened a few times, I think. So just the one uh, Sphinx in hand. Alright, so we'll uh, play the Dawn of Hope, I think. Could also make a case that it's too slow. And we should uh, discard it to the Honor, since we have Castle to make tokens now. Instead of the Dawn of Hope itself. Interesting, blue-green. And a Sacred Foundry, so... I guess I've got a bit of a spicy version of the fire stack. Yeah, I guess at this point I could also just honor... Discarding lands if we wanna... Take a bit of a risk. Alright, perfect. There's a fires. And uh, hopefully we can find land 5, and we won't regret to discarding the other one. Prime Speaker Vanifar. That's a nice one. Okay. Fires into Merriment. At the very least, I can use my 4 mana on Dawn of Hope next turn. So it's not like I don't get to do anything, but of course... Uh, slamming this Divine Visitation and Cavalier would be the cherry on top. And maybe we didn't need to play the Dawn of Hope, given that we drew the castle. 
A Neoform sacrificing Vanifar. Alright. What are we getting? Nif Mizzet Reborn. It all starts making sense now. Finds Knight of Autumn that can blow up one of my enchantments, sadly. And land 5, perfect. Always had it. So, pretty nice turn here. Get to go... I guess double Cavalier might just be the play, since we can spend our mana pumping Cavaliers instead of needing to tap out to make an Angel that we then can give haste. So yeah, we'll double Cavaliers so they can attack past Niv Mizzets. But I don't think I'm discarding anything. And then we'll just pump. And wow, point just explodes. Double Cavalier, too strong. Yeah, I mean, some draws with this deck are just brutal, much like the normal Jeskai fire deck. And uh, yeah, even if Mizzet finding some action was not enough to stop it. Alright, that's gonna be it for me today. Wanna thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed. And as always, have a nice day. I also wanna thank all my patrons for being part of the channel. And you can become a patron yourself today and decide the topic of future videos over at patreon.com forward slash legendvd.